So today I am unboxing the Switch Pod and the Switch Pod ball head. Uh, one thing that I really appreciate about just the packaging for both of these products is that it's very strong, you know, with the yellow and the dark, well, just black, you know, branding and logo and stuff like that. And it's a nice consistency between the two products. It's the same kind of box. And talking about the boxes, these things actually feel like they're pretty quality. It makes the product feel premium before you even open them up. And one of the nice details that both of these have is the magnetic closures. And it's not really a big deal, right? It's not really necessary before just to, you know, ship them in. But it, it does feel nice. I really appreciate that. There's some nice secure foam holding both of these products in place, perfectly cut out for to fit around each of them. Now, I'm trying to practice flicking out the switch pod legs fast every time. As you can see here, just in the unboxing right as I get it, it takes a little bit of practice, but I think I'll probably get it pretty quick. Uh, and I recommend don't try to put a camera on when the legs are in tripod mode, tabletop mode. This is actually easier with the legs folded together in handheld mode. You can just get at the uh, crank dial thing a lot easier that way. Uh, overall, the tripod plus the ball head, they're a little bit taller than what I expected, but um, I think that'll actually be good for vlogging type things. We'll see how it works out with putting it all on my desk. It might be a little bit more uh, pointed down towards me when it's sitting on my desk than I really ex wanted it to, but we'll have to see how the videos come out. And both of them have pretty nice but not distracting branding on them. It takes a little experimenting to get the camera and the ball head pointed the direction that you want them to relative to the front leg. So the front leg is actually the base position for all the legs in handheld mode. When they're all folded together, they're pointed the same direction as what the front leg is. So you want to make sure that that part is the direction that the camera's pointed in. And when I'm actually sitting behind the camera, I want to have the ball head screw pointed to the right. That's just the easiest place for me to adjust, you know, the angle of it and stuff like that. The ball head itself is nice and heavy. It rolls around nice and smooth. It doesn't take tons of effort to crank down the screw on the ball head to get to stay. And it feels pretty trustworthy. Uh, I really like how it feels. And it's got a little notch in the side for portrait mode for your camera. Now this is the behind the scenes for the ball head B-roll. As you can see here, I just have a blanket on the ground for my backdrop and my cats. I had the camera pointed down and I sat beside it, a light on the other side of the camera. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe because that's both encouraging to my fragile ego and so people like you see good videos on the internet.